ShireSociety.com. Representative Mulholland, mm -hmm. I guess you live in the town that is the most saturated with free staters, is that yeah, correct, sure. Grafton? Uh, what would you say are your major grievances against them, um, if any? Oh, plenty. Um, I guess because they are so anti-government that they lose all sense of proportion of what it actually needs to run the government, mm -hmm. even in the most economical way. And we, I mean, I'm on the budget committee, and we had somebody stand up at the deliberative session, which was saturated with the free status because it was postponed because of a snowstorm. Okay. So a lot of people didn't come who would yeah. have come normally on Saturday. And but the free staters were a little bit more fanatical about being there. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Right. I mean, they'd rounded everybody up. And so the first proposal was that we would have a 20% cut to the operating budget, which well, failed, but then a 10% cut passed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's just not sense. Well, but the, the, a lot of the problem is, too, they really don't understand how municipal government runs. Mm -hmm. Well, and it can be a mystery. It can be complicated. Well, yes, but you, you actually can find out. I mean, I've mm -hmm. been on the budget committee for many years, so I'm sort of right. kind of know that the DRA sets the tax rate in September, October, when most of the year's gone by, and therefore the budget that we pass, which is to allow us to have the parameters to actually keep in operation, is much more clear-cut, and then you can find out what you're going to yeah, but if the town of Grafton has enough money, I mean, I'm assuming there are some victimless crime arrests in Grafton. I mean, the authorities sometimes arrest people for smoking marijuana. They have managed. They have managed to very carefully mm -hmm. not fund a new police cruiser. Mm -hmm. So we have one policeman. We have two policemen with one rather ineffective vehicle, right? Which hampers their style too. But they use. I mean, if the, if the, I always say, if the town has enough money to make marijuana arrests, it's got too much money, right? I don't know that he is making that many out of marijuana. I haven't heard of we any. Have, but we, ha we have had a meth lab mm -hmm. situation, which I don't think is a waste of police. Well, it's definitely um, different from marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> it's an actual dangerous drug. No, I'm not absolutely certain of what the type of arrests I haven't. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we have a lot of situations where, you know, people need, need some police intervention for as much of the protection as anything else. Yeah. Did you have any concern about, there was an incident where I guess the, the town clerks or town operatives, Bonnie Harbach, I can't say if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Oh, well, um, no, Holbrook. She tried to stop, and I think you're a town official too, so she, she tried to stop a young man from videotaping uh, in the town clerk's office, or the, you know, the, the lobby of town hall, the small town hall in Grafton there. You are being video and audio recorded. You may leave now or I'll call the police. Are you aware that you're breaking Article 8 of the New Hampshire Constitution? Um, do you have any concerns about uh, no, bureaucrats no, saying... No, because the videotaping is incredibly in your face all the time. Mm -hmm. And the attitude behind the videotaping is basically, we're going to get you. But you're talking to me, and I appreciate that. I mean, you're not... You're not trying to stop me from taping, and you're not refusing to answer my questions, no. and I appreciate that. Well, are but you she, free state of your Oh, family? absolutely, yeah, but, but my concern was that she was trying to intimidate someone into not videotaping in a public place when she was a, you know, I mean, you don't have any problems with that? I'm not going to get into personalities here. Mm, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, there are personalities and there are views about what you think may be appropriate for government, and they don't always go inside. I mean, we right. have one person in town, names not named, who is an extremely conscientious citizen, I would say, but she manages to be very frustrating to many people, and mm -hmm. therefore, you know, people just roll their eyes when she comes along. I mean, but we've known that about a lot of people. It doesn't really matter what stripes they have. It's the people who just maybe always go on and on and on and you really don't want to listen anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate you answering my questions and the accessibility. Of so tell me about you. I'm uh, Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. It's like a poor man's TV station. Okay, good. So I'm going to be splashed all over your... Well, YouTube channel. But it is a popular you YouTube channel. Yes, not? I know. And they, I mean, I, they hate when I'm the libertarians in my town. Or they call oh, them the free state. Hate me. Okay. Well, the way they would look at it, I hope they don't hate you. But the way that they probably... They hate me. They hate me for three reasons. 
One is that I'm English. One is that I'm inte intelligent. And probably the third is that I'm a female. Yeah, we're immigrants too, <laughs> if you think about it. So we have to be pro-immigrant. That's the way I look at it. Well, I mean, I don't know how they feel about the Mexican problem and citizenship. Which well, I we are supposed to be pro-immigrant. You know, I mean, you can't be you can't be anything but pro-immigrant if you're well, a libertarian. Unless unless you're yeah. only pro-Native Americans. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, Ms. Mulholland. It's good to meet you, whether we disagree or not. Okay, good. Well, I mean, I certainly think that we should all be civil and discuss things, but I, um, I'm always caught out by people. I'm rather, I'm not, so I'm not caught out. Like, so I'm, fa I am in favor of efficient government. Efficient mm -hmm. government means the smallest amount of people to do the jobs that government needs to do and needs to do best. And we don't always, all of us, want to have a mile and a half of road that we personally have to be responsible for maintaining. Otherwise, people would never get from A to B. Right. I mean, that's a public function, which I think is important. Oh, well, I mean, I shouldn't say right, but it certainly is. There's no clear model right now for getting away from that, right? I mean, the government runs the roads because it's, it's it, we don't know what else, we don't know how else to do roads. That hasn't been done that way in a long time. That, well, that it's an extremely capital-intensive business, mm -hmm. I right. mean, and if you don't have the equipment to do your proper foundations of your road and pave your road, and, I mean, there's going to be some really bad stuff happening for cars if you... Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> it's like I say, I, I can't advocate for any taxpayer expenditure, but I realize the roads are probably the most popular thing the government does. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again for the time. Welcome. Much appreciated. Back to the wholesome part. Okay, see you. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at... ShireSociety.com